Okay, everybody. Uh, we have a new illustration today. Uh, Vanessa Fox over on the Google Webmaster Central blog talked about this. And some people like to learn visually. Uh, some people like to learn with screenshots. Uh, so I thought I'd try making a movie. And this is going to be a multimedia presentation. Uh, the two media that we are combining today are Skittles and peanut butter M&Ms. All right. So let's talk about Googlebot and how it crawls the web. First off. What do the red M&Ms represent? Well, everybody knows that red is bad, so these are going to be 404s. So Googlebot's crawling around the web, it sees a 404, sucks it down, and then, later on, uh, it'll come back and try to, to check it again. <clears throat> okay, so what do the purples mean? Well, everybody knows that purple means an HTTP status code of 200. That's the only thing it possibly could represent. So in other words, Googlebot comes along, and it sucks up the page, and uh, we got the page just fine. Okay, so we got a 404, we got a couple HTTP 200s, so life is pretty good. Now, let's talk about the cache crawl date and what we show. So you might not be able to tell as easily, but this is purple, we've got two greens, purple, and then the rest greens. So what do you think the green M&M represents? Well, everybody knows that green M&Ms are great. They're like the home run M&Ms. So these represent a status code of 304. So whenever a browser or a Googlebot comes to a page, they say, hey, I want to copy this page, or you can just tell me if the page has been modified since a certain date. And if the page has not been modified since a certain date, you can just get a 304 status back that says, yeah, this page hasn't changed at all. Don't even bother to download it. So this is what Googlebot is crawling. This is going forward in time. So in other words, we crawled the page, we got a 200. The next two times Googlebot crawled the page, it got a 304, which is the if modified sense that says the page hasn't really changed. And then right around in here, the webmaster actually changed the page. And so uh, we see this purple Skittle, that again means, okay, we got a 200 because the page was actually fetched. Now, going forward, the page didn't change any, and so the web server is smart enough to return a 304 status code for each one of these. Now the thing that's interesting is, if you were to check on the Google cache page, it would show you the crawl date when we last re retrieved the page. But the interesting thing is that until recently, suppose we checked on this date or this date, it would still give us the very first time that we fetched this page. And now you fetch the page again, and it would show this cache crawl date, and then if we go forward, and maybe even for six months, we fetch the page, and the page hadn't changed, we would still show this old cached crawl date. So the change in policy, what we're doing is, if we actually checked on this date, or on this date, to see if the page changed, we'll now show that in the cached crawl header. So in other words, as Googlebot comes along, slurping stuff along, it used to be the page might look pretty old, but we're updating it so that as we know about whether a page has changed or not, we update the crawl date on the cached page. And so pages should look more fresh in the cached crawl date. And the reason for that is we're showing the fact, we're reflecting the fact that we actually have checked recently whether those pages have changed. 